Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Michelle Seaside Crafter. So I finished my loaded coffee sleeve with my butterfly theme. As you can see, it's beauteous and it's chock full. And you could say thank you to my gusset, which I don't know how, how, I think I got a lot more in it than I would have had I not put the the gusset in so I just want to show you what I put in it I'll just to give you an idea in case you have to do um, a loaded coffee sleeve or just to give you ideas on things to put inside them so I have a die for these bag toppers this like right here but I added a bow which I also have a die for and I have the die for these butterflies so I added these little butterflies in um, I included, I have this die too, so I punched out a whole bunch of them in different colors, and I added the little bow part, so she can make her own, so she has those, and I put one on top. Here I just made a shaker mix, like I put in the, uh, shaker bag, and that is that, with another one of those little, little toppers. Here I made, I put these, I put sequins in the packaging, but I made these um, little altered paper clips. So you can see the paper clips on the back. And I added, um, I made this, you know, this little topper myself. It's just some cut out um, things that I punched out or, or someone had given me. And I cut out one of the butterflies from the paper pack and some vintage music paper and just made a little flag like that and if you're interested to know how I made these little um little altered paper clips I can do a video on them this one's cute it's the first time I did this one I wrapped this one with paper and then I just I have this die so I I actually punched this out on that um it's like that vinyl from Dollar Tree However, it's, because it's sticky on the back, I added, I had put this, I backed it with some really, some thick cardstock, some black thick cardstock, and I think that's the only reason why it went through. Otherwise, it wouldn't have gone through. So I made that. Someone had given me the die that says paper hugs, so I made a whole bunch of them for her, and I put all different colors, and then here's another one of those bag toppers so I made a whole bunch of flowers so I have this um, I have this die it's an older one from Tim Holtz it's a reflections one or no alterations so I just made one of you know I punched out the different it's the same die but I kind of made them I kind of kept them with the gold peachy theme and so, but I added different, um, tool inside. So this is, um, peachy paper with some gold lettering on it. And I put like a, like a straight gold tone tool. And then I put a, a gem in the middle. And then I added that little butterfly on there. So I did that. This one is, um, cut, um, cardstock but they were all cardstock they're from the same kit and I had this glittery 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 gold tool so I put that on that and I just put a pop dot in the back and I use the Fabri-Tac so what I do is I'll take a because you want them to be able to take these off and use them so I'll take the pop dot off the paper the sticky part goes on the back of the flower then you still have the paper on the other end so I'll take the Fabri-Tac and I'll put a dot on that end and I'll attach it to the paper. That way when they pull it off, the paper should stay and then it'll still be sticky. You know, the little square will still be sticky, the pop dot. So then I just did this one. This was like a peachy, pinky, and gold stripe. And this tool had like just a little gold glitter. And then I put a little pink gem in the middle and I put a little purple bow. So those were cute. I made those and I do have a video of me making this um, 
my shaker bag. I need the shaker bag. And what happened was I was in the process of filming the video showing you how I closed the inside and my, my camera shut off. Like it, it didn't even go, didn't even stop and go to a part two, it just shut off. So I'll have to finish making that one because I had already made one. I had finished my sample, which was this one. This was the sample, but as you can see, it's done. So I'm going to have to do a part two with just like the ending. I'll have to see where I went. So this is my shaker bag and it's just, um, it's just, um, envelope that, you know, um, oh, something came in the mail and this was the envelope and I have a whole bunch of them because we get a whole bunch of these certain kinds. So why not? And it was already, you know, the cardstock was beautiful. So I made this into a little pouch and inside it I had, I made just a simple tag with, from the paper pack and I used one of those large, um, those large eyelets from the ones I got from my mom from scrapbooking.com. And then I just threw in this tag I had made. It's got butterflies. So I put that in there. And then I had made, um, this is that topper. And I think someone gifted me some of these butterflies. But then I have this die. So I made a whole bunch of these and I put them together and I put them in here. So that's in there. And then this one, I have this die. This is another Tim Holtz die from like back in the day. And, but I made these little coffees and I just want to show you because they're so cute. So I made, you know, here's your, here's your iced coffee or your culotta, wherever you put in those things. And here's just a little, and I use the same paper pack to keep it with that theme. So there's two hot coffees and two culottas or whatever you want to call them. So I thought those were wicked cute. So I put those in there and I, I'm just going to seal it up or I don't know if I have a topper. I can add something for the topper, but I just wanted to show you those things because they're so cute. And then I just added a, this is a vintage flash card that I had coffee dyed and I just put in some of the trim. Well, this trim I used the lace I didn't, but I have a lot of lace. So I figured why not gift it to someone and it's coffee dyed so you get to use that when you're done too so it's awesome so all of this fit into my little coffee sleeve and i did try to like open up the gusset uh, so i did i was like pulling on it to open up that gusset and um i actually had it standing up which is awesome so now i'm just going to see if i can uh Put all this stuff back in here and put it back together. I put this guy in first just because I did. I don't know. I just did. And um, so it wasn't, you know, I liked I liked using the gusset actually because I was able to fit a lot. Look at all this stuff that is getting put in here. I was able to put a lot of stuff in here. And I had a lot of fun making those flowers too. And I had... This is the, <laughs> I punched those out that day that I was, that I spent my whole morning, these two, punching out things. What was it? It was Memorial Day? Yeah. That's what I was doing. Punching all these bad boys out. So, I think this is pretty good. Now this little guy, he's, he's the tough one. So, and there, oh, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. I'm just going to stuff this one in. I'm just stuffing him in the middle. I thought he was going to stand up by itself. But it didn't. But that's okay. So there you have it. That is my showing you of my loaded coffee sleeve in the butterfly theme. And I hope you like it. And I'll see you next video. Thank you. Bye.